I'm Dr. Chip Cole, and I'd like to talk to you today about laser resurfacing. Laser's been around since the late 80s, and we started doing resurfacing with a CO2 laser, and it was a, a really huge advancement. And then it pretty much plateaued, and it didn't get much better. We got excellent results, but there were a lot of side effects. What happened is people would be red for about two months, maybe three, and it would take up to six months for everything to completely heal. And so it was hard for people to take off much time or to hide it. You know, obviously if someone wore makeup, it wasn't as difficult, but for men to do it, they obviously didn't want to wear makeup. It was an ordeal. And so they didn't have that advantage. And then you go about probably 30 years and we've had a revolutionary change in laser resurfacing and it's called the ultra clear laser. The reason it's so revolutionary is because there's a specific wavelength called 2910. And what that means is if you look at the spectrum and water has the highest absorption at that wavelength, 2910. So what that means is you're treating tissue without having thermal damage. With the CO2 laser, it's 10,600 nanometers. I know that's a bunch of numbers, but what it means is you're getting a lot of dissipation of heat, which gives thermal damage. And ideally, you want a cold fiber laser which ultra clear is, it's the very first one to be approved by the FDA. That's a cold laser in that mid infrared range at 2019. So what that really means is we can treat the skin in a cold mode and then treat below the skin in a hot mode. And that means that people that have color, whether you be Asian, Mediterranean, African, all the different ethnic groups and nationalities, they're more susceptible to have hyperpigmentation or prolonged erythema. When we use a CO2 laser, we couldn't even consider treating those people. Whereas now, there's no limit of who we treat. We just have to dial in different parameters. So with the ultra clear laser, it not only treats for skin resurfacing, but we have six modalities that we could use it for. And if you think about it, four of those modalities are different types of skin resurfacing and different levels, which we'll talk about. The other two modalities are highly specialized and they include laser coring, which is unique to this laser only, or cutting ability. With laser coring, we're able to do a very controlled micro channel where we can take advantage of reorganizing collagen, elastic fibers, and, and contracting in a three-dimensional way the skin so that in the natural repair process, you have tighter skin, more contracted, and more youthful skin. And with a laser, we can control that. If we try to do that with a chemical peel, it's like we're putting on a chemical and we sit back and we pray and we hope that it's gonna work just like we want. We don't literally control the chemical. It's a reaction, a biochemical reaction between the solution and the skin. So that's another big advantage of the laser. And with the ultra clear, we don't have the side effects that we used to get with the CO2 laser. One thing I tell a lot of the residents and the doctors I work with is in my long history, I have purchased a CO2 laser and an ultra clear laser. And everything in between has just been fluff. It's trying to be a different flavor of the same technology, but the ultra clear is a new revolutionary change. And so when we go through the modalities, 
you can almost think of it like if you were going to just wash your car. If your car is in good shape and you're just going to wash it and you're not going to do much, but you just clean the surface dirt, well, we can use that modality. That's kind of the just the first clear mode type modality where we're just given that that glow that everybody talks about, like getting off some of the you know the dead layers that are starting to transition with your skin turnover. And then sometimes you you can't just get a car wash with your car. You need to get a wax job and you need to buff it real good. Well that's a deeper treatment that we can do with the skin. So if we want to go to kind of a, you know, back toward an ultra mode, we can do settings that are deeper. And then sometimes your car is, you can't just get a wax job or wash it. You need to repaint your car. And that is really the ultra clear mode where we're combining the different modalities and we can spot treat for pigment. If you're having say aging changes and you have irregularities or wrinkles, we can do laser coring for the wrinkles and scarring, the acne scarring. We can do the ultra clear if you have a surface scar and, and, and you just have some pigment irregularities. We can make the skin look a lot smoother and give it a glow. So, and there's really several different things that we can do as one treatment. So I like to explain it like you can get your car painted, but before you get your car painted, you got to fix the little dents and things to make it look perfect. Then you paint it. After you paint it, if you want it to keep looking nice over time, then you get a, a, a wash and, and you keep your car looking nice. It's the same way with your face. You want to enjoy life. You want to get out and have fun. Well, if you can have laser and keep your skin healthy, not only looking good, but therapeutically being healthy, then that's something we can do with the laser. So the ultra clear is the modern approach that fits all the boxes, not only with safety, but efficacy, and it can be done with a controlled handpiece that there's no guesswork involved. It's all very scientific and it's reproducible. So we can have somebody in, in the United States that's gonna have just as good a result as somebody over in India. And we haven't had that available before. And so that's the big advantage by using the ultra clear laser. So if you're interested in this type of technology, come see us. We've got it at Oculus. We're one of the you know, main providers of this technology. And it's something that I've done myself. I've treated family members. So you could see that I believe in the technology.